I've had uh, quite a lot of interesting comments made on my cheat day video that uh, I posted not long ago and what I'd like to clarify the most common comment on this product was that it's a scam it doesn't work that it's too good to be true and the ingredients in here are three naturally occurring ingredients that have been clinically studied individually I'm going to discuss those in a second but let's get into first the clinical study process so if I have a hypothesis that I would like to study what I end up doing is I go okay I have this idea I want to study something I make a plan for a study I apply to do the study to gain a permission to do this study because I might say no this study is rubbish there's no point doing this study and once the governing board that says yes you are allowed to pe perform this study the study then commences whether it's a double blind placebo randomized whatever the protocols are they're outlined in the in the pre-plan that were approved so nothing is changed and the end result is the end result so once the study is completed the information is con uh, contabulated and a result is published so what happens is if I was to do a study without gaining permission first then it would not be a published publishable study and uh, an invalid study so the study process is very expensive so rather than produce a study based on on my product I've, I've, I've used existing clinical studies here which I'll go through and can uh, put these ingredients together to create a product that should by all accounts work because it's using clinically tested ingredients and then let's test it out see how it works and I did test it out I'll go into testing after that but let's first look at what I'm talking about when it comes to ingredients so here we go now I'm uh, in, in nerd mode so first we've got this PubMed study which the abstract was about uh, f the amylase enzyme block blocking through the wheat the, the white kidney bean so phospholavas phos Phasolos vulgaris has been shown to in vitro to inhibit the digestive enzyme alpha amylase. This may prevent or delay digestion of com complex carbohydrates, potentially resulting in weight loss. So, this was a study in 2007. I've just printed a screen grab of the start of the report. And look, we can go through all the, the stats and what happens, but we can go to the end and discuss what the conclusion was, because the conclusion is whether it's uh, hit, hit and miss. So the conclusion suggests that, of course, I mean, it, it's an obvious. The subjects who adhere to a program, including dietary modifications, exercise, and behavioral intervention, can significantly reduce their weight and waist size in a short period. Now, that's saying, okay, well, if they just did exercise, they would have lost weight anyway. However, they did also take into account that the subjects who consumed a higher proportion of carbohydrates had the most significant reduction in both in both weight and waist size compared with the placebo subjects. So therefore, if their diet was high in carbohydrates, they blocked most carbohydrates and therefore had the best reaction to the white kidney bean extract. So it does say longer studies are uh, should be sought to, 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 verify, to, uh, to verify this, but you know, it's showing good signs. So hey, let's put this in, in the product and see how it works. So we'll We'll test it out, but by all accounts, it, it shows promising. The, the science says it should work. Now remember, the cheat day is both a carb and fat blocker. And as we know, carbs are four calories and fat is nine calories. So we are more inclined to block fat than carbs because ca fa uh, fat contains twice the calorie, over twice the calories. So the next two ingredients I had were based on fat blocking. Now, Carb blocking was based more on the idea that if we stop the digestion of the carbohydrate, the carbohydrate cannot be absorbed as a glucose, which means it will not be broken down into its finite matter that could be absorbed. That's the theory behind blocking the digestive enzyme and not actually blocking the carb itself, because if I ate just raw sugar, I would absorb the glucose. I can't block 
the sugar that I can block the breakdown process of the carbohydrate. Now, the next ingredient was uh, in Norway, it's called fecan cactus. I'm so used to saying that, prickly pear, or in this case, it says Openuta fecus indica, which is also called nopal cactus. Now, can nopal cactus treat obesity? That was a study from March 22. The study, we'll go right to the conclusion. The available scientific reports demonstrate a number of positive psychological and therapeutic features of nopal cactus. There is experimental evidence for its principal application for inhibition of fat generation, oxidization, and therefore of obesity in animals and humans. So, prickly pear was shown to have an effect on fat absorption. Now, the fat absorption of fecan cactus, or sorry, prickly pear, and the fat absorption of ch chitosan, the chitosan is so well known that the oil industry use it to clean the drill bits on their rigs. Like chitosan is used as a solvent to clean the grease, the oil off the drilling bits out the North Sea. The North Sea companies are not going to be wasting money on a, a pie in the sky thing that may or may not work. No, they're going, you know what, this, this is the best cleaning ingredient. So it's not pharmaceutical grade, it's not even food grade. It's it's the cheapest quality that they use out there because they're complete. They're using bags of it. So, Chitosan, which is the next one we're going to talk about here, which was done in 2018. I've seen studies before that. I'm just I just grabbed the first study just to show you that I'm not pulling crap out of the air here. That I'm I'm actually basing things on science here. So this one was a meta-analysis on randomized controlled clinical trials evaluating the effect of dietary supplements, chitosan on weight loss, lipid parameters, and blood pressure. Now, let's hop forward to the conclusion. The meta-analysis of the data from 14 studies provided comprehensive evidence that compared with the placebo, chitosan supplementation leads to a slight, short, and medium-term effect on weight loss of chitosan supplementation, improves plasma, lipid profile, and cardiovascular outcomes. In summary, this is a meta-analysis establishes a beneficial effectiveness on overweight and obese patients. Chitosan works, it does work. The oil industry wouldn't spend millions buying in chitosan if it didn't do what it's supposed to do. It binds itself with the fat molecule and it can't go through the fat cell wall. It's that simple. It binds itself, can't be absorbed. So when you use cheat day, you don't break down the carb, you don't absorb the fat. It's not rocket science. The science is there, okay? And it is not rocket science, it's, it's clinical food science, not rocket, we're not studying going to, going to the moon. But all these people claiming that I'm lying, that I'm uh, making a product too good to be true, that's not the case. Now, I've tested this product on a type 1 diabetic who is very sensitive to, to rice, obviously, or to carbohydrates. He is insulin dependent, means if he, if, he, if he takes some rice, he doesn't give himself a shot of insulin, he'll uh, feel very dizzy and not feel very good. So, gave him some capsules, tested his, tested his blood sugar, it was uh, just over 7 millimole, 6.9 millimole, gave, gave him the capsules, waited 15 minutes so the capsules could be absorbed, gave him 100 grams cooked rice with no, no fats, just 100% rice because that's just the highest GI thing you could have. Now 100 grams is not a lot, we eat a lot more than 100 grams in a meal, but 100 grams was just to see, hey what happens, what happens to that? And he goes, well this one, normally I'd go up to around 15, I'd shoot up pretty fast. So his reaction was he didn't exceed 10 millimole before it came back down and that was over a two hour. It took him two hours to get to 10 millimole. That meant that of the 10, 100 grams of, of rice, he didn't absorb that, that much of it. Now, I have got feedback after feedback after feedback of people who have lost weight using this product. I don't recommend it as a dietary supplement. Don't take it every day. It's not bad to consume fat. It's not bad to consume farm. carbs. I'm not anti-carb, not anti-fat. But there are times when sometimes you want to eat a little bit extra and you know you can't or you shouldn't. So you take this so you don't ruin your diet. 
It's called cheat day, not cheat life. You take this product when you want it, when you need it. You're invited to a wedding and you can't be the prick who says, no, I can't, sorry, I can't eat potato, I can't eat the bread roll, I'm on a diet. You take the cheat day, eat the bread roll, eat, eat, eat the potato, and don't ruin the bride's day. So all these people saying it's too good to be true, maybe you're not doing enough science research yourself. Now, I'm not saying this product is definitively the greatest product in the world, but it does work. It's why it was my best seller. It's why it continues to be my best seller. And the, 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 the sheer fact that customers keep coming back buying more and more and more over and over and over again and are going down in weight, you can either study, you can either do a clinical study based on here's an idea and I'm gonna test it out or I can look at a group of people and go, what is it all those people have in common? Hmm, they all have that product in common. That's interesting. Now, I'm working backwards there. I'm going, they've all used this product and they've all had this result. Then I'll make this determination that, yeah, I could possibly do a clinical study. If I had the money, I would love to take this on a, to, a, to a medical school. If anyone's willing to help me or work with me on do that, I would love to get this product tested under clinical conditions and get it really showing how effective it is. But I know that when an 82 year old lady with MS who can't exercise loses three kilos in a month and only thing she did was start on cheat day, when her quality of life is better, then that's made my job. That's, that's, that's what my job is, to, to make people's quality of life better and to make good products. So whether you like the science or not, I've made the science, I mean, I've, I've used the science to make the product, and if you're gonna attack me by saying too good to be true, how about you go and do some research on those three ingredients before you get smart and think you know everything, because it's really easy to be a desktop jockey and, and, and tear everybody down, but realistically, if you're not dealing with the facts like I am and the results of this product over the five years that it's been on the market, then you really are just clickbait trying to get a reaction. You're not going to get a reaction from me because I'm confident, happy with my product. I, I make a good product, it works, and I keep selling it. So it's based on science, whether you like it or not. You probably won't like that at all, but hey, you know, who cares? <laughs>